So after six developer previews or betas, here we are the full release of Android 10, formerly Android Q. If you do have a Pixel device, you can install the full fat version right now, but just what is new? Don't worry, we've got you covered. This is everything new in Android 10. So sit back, relax, and let us show you just what you've got to look forward to in the biggest Android update for quite some time. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Let's start with some new features and design changes, and the most requested was obviously the native dark theme or dark mode. It's here in the flesh and you can toggle it in two ways, either via the dedicated notification shade toggle, or putting your device into battery saver mode. It will then dip all of your native apps into a darker shade. You can now modify the system accent theme to give theming options, which includes a few colours, icon shapes and font options. Android 10 has also introduced brand new and updated gestures that mimic the iPhone somewhat. If you're not a fan, you can switch back to the pill or three button navigation gestures though if you wish. If you do enable gestures, you can actually adjust the new back gesture sensitivity to suit yourselves too. Within the notification shade, there is now an estimated battery life meter so that you can work out when you do need to charge your phone going forward. Chat bubbles for app notifications can now be added in Android 10, which are very similar to the Facebook chat heads. In fact, they actually work in the very same way. You can disable them at any time now from within the developer settings. If you want to check your device uptime, you can now do so within the settings about phone section. Press and hold the sleep wake button and there is now a new emergency power icon menu. When playing audio on your phone, there is now a new scrubber bar for media within the notification shade, which allows you to quickly scrub forward and backwards within audio for more fine control. Connecting to Wi-Fi is also now easier with the Wi-Fi Easy Connect, allowing you to scan a QR code to connect or share your Wi-Fi connection. It also gives you the text password too. There is a new audio balance option within accessibility that allows you to tweak audio from the left and right sides so that you can tweak the audio to your heart's content. Digital Wellbeing's new focus mode is simply a copycat of OnePlus's Zen mode, which you can tailor to block access to distracting apps for a set period of time. There is now a quick settings tile that can disable all device sensors. To add it, just head to developer settings and toggle on to add it to your notification shade. Text selection now has haptic feedback, so that means when selecting text on your phone from websites, for instance, it will now vibrate as you make the selection and increase the word count. The at a glance widget on Pixel Launcher is now bolder for much more prominence when you're viewing your home screen. The padlock icon on your lock screen has also now been relocated for much more prominence to the top of your display. Recent notifications now show a bell icon to let you know which was the last to ping you. You can see that at the top of your notification shade when a notification comes in for the first time. The app info page has now been completely redesigned for a much more clean look and feel. When your ambient display is activated, this now shows more music info during playback, but it only will show one icon for audio or app playing music for instance. Android 10 introduces a brand new battery and Wi-Fi icon. The new icons are hollow and they do fill when signal strength or battery capacity increases or decreases to give you a much more visual indication of, of how strong your signal is or how low your battery is. At the top of your device settings, you now see the current profile picture of whoever is logged in. Within the quick settings in the notification toggle, the edit button and carry name have now moved slightly from where they were in Android Pie. If you do have any Bluetooth devices connected to your phone, they now get more colourful icons to help you distinguish between them much more clearly. When picking a file in Android 10, there is now an indicator to pull up for more options. The entire emergency information page has now been redesigned so that it's no longer in tabs. You can also add a profile image if you wish to do so. The data usage UI, like the rest of Android 10, has had some notable tweaks and enhancements to fit in with the whole look and feel of Android 10. Wanting a lock screen and using a lock screen pin, there is a brand new enter key which will honour any device accent theme you currently have set on your phone. The APK installer on Android 10 has had a massive UI refresh. It looks more cleaner and cohesive with the rest of the system. The sleep setting within your device settings has now been renamed Screen Timeout in Android 10. When using the stock password autofill system in Android 10, this has had a redesign which makes the pop-up a little rounder and it also has its own dark mode should you have that enabled. Silent notifications will now show at the bottom of your notification shade rather than mixed in with all of your other notifications for a much neater experience. If you do have the native dark mode toggled on, then you'll now get an eye saving dark theme boot animation in Android 10. There is now an improved share menu brought about with Android 10 with more options, quick contacts and app suggestions. Long pressing notifications in the notification shade also gives you way more options than it has previously. Should you long press a notification and choose to turn off notifications, 
you now get a new pop-up panel to make on-the-fly alterations to your notification settings. The inbuilt battery saver in Android 10 will now disable when your battery has charged past 90% or when the battery has been fully charged. The new smart battery saver also allows you to make more adjustments as to when battery saver mode will activate on your phone. Night Sight is of course now part of the main camera UI for even easier quick access and long exposure modes. Should you have auto rotate activated, the fast rotation button now has a dark theme of its own. Of course, Android Beam has been fully removed from Android 10 and we're awaiting its replacement. The Files and Google Wallpapers apps now have proper material themes to fit in with the rest of Android 10. You can now handle app permissions and access thanks to the new permissions manager which is within your device settings. Smart replies themselves are not new but they are heavily baked into Android 10 so that almost every app you use can take advantage of the quick contextual replies from messaging to email apps. Should you want to share an image from your device, the image will now be previewed within the share sheet so that you know exactly what you're sending to your contacts. When using gesture navigation to activate Google Assistant, you can swipe diagonally from each the left or right corner alongside using the active edge gesture. When adjusting system volume, should you delve further into settings, you now get a neater pop-up panel to make volume tweaks without having to delve into the full device settings. Live wallpapers now have a full preview option so that you can see them in action before applying them to your device. Active Edge now has some notable feedback tweaks so that you can see just how hard you're squeezing so then you can adjust to your own preference. There is also a new squeeze to talk mini text pop-up when you have the gestures enabled and want to use Active Edge. Notification snoozing within the notification shade is now disabled by default. To enable it, you'll have to delve into device settings and toggle the option on. For audio, there is a new switch output pop-up panel that allows you to quickly switch between devices and your phone itself if you want to change out where audio is being played. In Android 10, you can also expect to see way more suggestions at the top of your device settings, with contextual quick toggles also showing depending on your status and more. And finally, ending a call now has a brand new tone for those of you that still make phone calls. So that is every single thing new in the full release of Android 10, which of course is rolling out right now. If you do have a favorite feature, tweak or inclusion, then be sure to let us know down there in the comment section below. We also have in-depth guides on 9to5google.com showing you just how to install and return your device with links in the description if you do want to check any of those out. Before you head off, remember to like the video and subscribe for more content just like this. But as always, this is Damien with 9to5google saying thanks again for watching and I will speak to you later.